it's another beautiful Sunday. Uh, this is the Sunday of June 12th. Behind me, you can see uh, there's a big gazebo, and there are the bands and musicians are ready to perform in a few minutes. And I'm at the Ojai Music Festival. Uh, this is one of the most important events for the town of Ojai. And Ojai is a town of an artist town and also music town. There are many wonderful uh, self uh, cultivation centers and also self uh, awareness center. The well being centers all gathered in this little town in the hill area of the Ventura County, uh, just a few miles away from the uh, Ventura coastline. So you might be able to hear. Uh, lots of crowds and also maybe sometimes musicians are tuning up uh, and ready to begin a beautiful feast and uh, People are very excited because after a long uh, downtime of uh, basically overcoming the hardship of uh, Being safe and stay at home for the entire period of uh, COVID-19 pandemic era uh, it's a wonderful time for people to finally go out a little bit and uh, socialize a little bit, but still keep safe measurement. Everybody should still be aware of your surroundings and care for yourself and others by wearing the masks if the crowds are uh, huge. So uh, stay safe and stay well and maybe a point that I will be able to show you some of the music performance uh, segment as well. And also, if I turn around and behind me straight down to the other end of the park, uh, this is, I'm at the park of uh, the Libby Park uh, of uh, the city of Ojai. They are also having uh, the 64th annual uh, pottery show is going on behind me. There's more of the tent far away. You can see the white tents and whatnot. Uh, I have met many artists there and they have wonderful shows there. Maybe we could also take a few shots of the exhibition and just try to uh, respect uh, the copyrights of the artist's work. They're hardworking, they're uh, their creations. I would just like to have a quick Re, uh, preview of uh, the show. So stay tuned. For seven decades, the Ohio Music Festival has been offering a platform for musicians and interdisciplinary artists alike to express their unbounded creativity. Each year, a music director is given the freedom and resources to conjure four days of musical feast. Upon its inception in 1947, under the guidance of festival founder John Bauer and conductor Thor Johnson, the festival featured a balance of classics and more contemporary fare. By the time Loris Morton took over as artistic director in 1954, the emphasis has shifted to new music and Ojai soon became the showcase as well for some of the 20th century giants as Luciano Berrio, Pia Bliss, Elliot Carter, Aaron Copeland, Lou Harrison, and Olivier Messiaen, and two Southern California locals, Arnold Schoenberg and Igor Stravansky. Lawrence Morton established the tradition of rotating music directors and with this innovation, Ojai's music directors have invited distinguished soloists, first-rate chamber and ensembles, and world-class orchestras to join them in exploring the intersection between new music and everything from jazz and improvisation to electronics and computers, dance, theater, and experimental staging to social and political issues. At times, repertory might go back to the Middle Ages or reach across the globe.
As we are about to watch Rome is Falling World Premiere, this new work, conceived and composed by Doc Belliet, tracks the fall of Rome in the form of a high-energy opera in the Libby Park gazebo, bringing together members of American Modern Opera Company and Ruckus, the critically acclaimed early music band with a fresh approach to Baroque music. Rome is Falling presents an exciting new telling where song, spoken word, and driving music come together to contextualize the action. Complete with audience engagement and the performance of members of a local children's choir, Rome is Falling is a free public opportunity for Ojai festival goers and locals alike to bring a picnic blanket to enjoy. The decline and fall of the Western Roman Empire. No, I don't like it at all. This is an opera, not a textbook. We need some... Johnny, can you give me a beat so I can think? Okay, that's good. Uh, it has to be something simple. Like a light motif we hear over and over. Something alive. Rome didn't fall, but Rome is falling. Rome is falling. Okay. That's a little better for a Sunday afternoon, I think. I'll bet we can make a groove of it and even get the choir going. Uh, Matt, can you give me something Paul McCartney-ish? Yeah, and some drums? Nice. Let's sing it.
pieces. So Rome is doing so well. When did it start to decline? A lot of people point to Marcus Aurelius. Yes, that Marcus Aurelius. Because he handed on the empire to his bloodthirsty son, Commodus. And it started a crisis. We'll have 80 emperors over the next 80 years. I think we should meet a few of them and ask them, how will you solve the crisis? Commodus, go! I'm a gladiator, I'm a gladiator. I'm in the ring, I'm a gladiator. My father had to swear and I have mine. It was philosophy and mine is wine and tear.
says you were killed by a member of your troops, is that right? Yes. Says here that you always did your best and worked tirelessly to the bone for Rome, is that right? Yes. yes. Says here that the empire's huge and maybe too much for a single man to rule, is that right? Yes. yes. Says here that a real Roman never ever ever gives up, is that right? Yes. yes. It's a crisis. I think we may have chopped off our own hand with that one. Come on! What we need's a hero! Someone who can step up and save the day! Someone who can take control! Are there any volunteers? Hello. Hello, my name is Tacitus. You're looking very dapper. Thank you. It's a new jacket. I am a senator. My blood is super pure. I may not be a general, but my taste is impeccable. But you're also 90 years old. Oh, and look at that. Killed by your troops. Probus, everybody loved you. What happened, man? I made my troops fill me a garden on their day off. I am Karen Nissen. I'm Carrie Sen. And I knew. experienced the act one of Belliet's modern opera, Rome is Falling. The drama goes on. The Ohio Music Festival music director of year 2022 was the American Modern Opera Company, acronym AMOC, who, as I quote, develops and produces a body of discipline colliding work to combine traditional and experimental artistic processes and to maintain enduring creative relationships between its members, founded by artistic directors Zach Winokur and Matthew Alcoin. Amok is made up of some of the most adventurous singers, dancers, and instrumentalists at work today in the fields of contemporary and classical music and dance, end quote. I hope that you've enjoyed this particular modern opera as much as I do. The bottom line is, I commended the endeavor and efforts the Ohio Music Festival in fostering a musically enriched community 
and providing musicians and artists an outlet for innovation and adventure. <laughs>